All right, ladies and gents. We have, voila. And we originally came from this, which was the five inch Uconnect. That came from the factory. This doesn't take long, it usually connects pretty quickly. Awesome. That's not get copyrighted just yet. But yeah, we got our car play going on. It's a little laggy, but I'm not expecting an amazing piece of technology for $262. So this is the actual radio. You know, it has like your steering wheel key set up. You can set up binds for your steering wheel buttons, which is pretty cool. I haven't messed with that yet. You have the Play Store. You have your AVN, I guess. You hook up a DVD player or something. You got your maps, but I just use CarPlay. I didn't even hook up the GPS <clears throat> on the back of this. This was super easy to install. Very super easy. It took me 20 minutes. So this is not the factory bezel. This is an entire piece. As you could probably see from the picture that I'll most likely use as a thumbnail. But yeah, you got your Chrome, you know, you got your, this is to mirror, but it shows like an iOS 6 to iOS 7 like screen. So I think that's really old and I couldn't get it to work. You have your Android Auto right here, which I'm an iPhone guy. But let's say you don't decide to use CarPlay, you know, you have your regular radio, music, videos, Bluetooth phone call, Bluetooth music, gallery, file manager, car info, settings, and the DSP, which is cool. So you can make sure all your sound sounds good. Let's get back on the CarPlay. So it'll say CP link. And if you leave the hotspot on this on, which it'll ask you, once you do it once, it practically auto connects just about immediately every time. <clears throat> but yeah, you cannot beat this for 262 bucks. And it might look dim, but the brightness is really not turned up. It's on like 50. I'm not sure what other features to really run through. I did not connect the steering wheels, so I cannot these two buttons because this was a warlock which is it's a slight upgrade to the tradesman package it's supposed to be a pretty it's supposed to be like a longhorn or a big horn but uh you know as you can tell they gave me the basic gauge gauge cluster but at least i don't have the hollowed out top glove box <laughs> um <clears throat> but yeah you can i'd say that's pretty responsive look you know that's fairly responsive you know you got your buttons here Volume down, volume up, back home, the power. I'm not even sure what the power button does. I haven't even messed with it. I'm guessing it's literally a power button, but why would you turn it off, you know? I didn't mean to get out of that. But, uh, yeah, and then, you know, it's basically, you know, get your Wi-Fi. I had a Wi-Fi and a Bluetooth antenna. I had to connect when I set it up. And, like I said, super easy to set up. It was the two screws to remove this dash out. Then, like, your 13 screws that go around this in the inside. Uh... I had to hook up about four or five wires and then I just set everything back in, screwed the two top in, turned it on and it was a done deal. And you get to maintain your factory backup camera, which is something you just cannot beat. It is so much better than having the run. It came with one as well, which is the HD one. So it might actually look better. Maybe one day we'll, we'll check it out. Maybe I'll just plug it in in the car and just see if it looks better on the screen. And if it is a higher quality, maybe I will roll with it, but we don't actually need that. <clears throat> but I really got this because uh, for maps and for CarPlay. And I'm very, it's a little glitchy, it's buggy. It's definitely not 100% what you think. And this is 720p screen, but it looks pretty damn good for 720p. I would almost say it almost looks like 1080 for sure. It's a very good looking screen. And I'm sure you could kind of tell from the video on here. And this will actually be for sale. It's actually listed on eBay right now. And I am accepting best offers, so the price is not firm. Now I'll leave a link down in the description. I didn't go through with it for a number of reasons. One being that the wire for the fan adapter is like 200 bucks or like 170, 160. And then second would be, this is a 2016 model, which features no CarPlay. So we ended up going with the cheaper Chinese one on Amazon. Well, all right, if you guys have any questions, feel free to drop comments down below with any questions, and I'm gonna try to provide a link for this. Thanks for watching.